this is tragic. This is sad. I mean, like, I want to see both these players move on. Only one being able to move on is such a travesty, but we got to do it regardless. We have to be the ones to witness this, and you guys at home got to sit here too. This is losers. Top six of Defend the North 22. Let's get right into it. Starting things off on Stadium 2 is... This is kind of a raw deal for Chris. You've got a stage that Palutena is able to maneuver on so expertly. This character's tools are fit perfectly to this stage, like a puzzle piece. Center stage, tons of ways to shark the platforms from there. She sharks the plats, she has light pressure for days. Mm -hmm. Movement options are plenty. It's going to be a tough deal for Chris to be able to position himself to fight back. Also considering the fact that the matchup itself is on the tougher end for Ness and doesn't have the disjoints to really duel out with dash attack and back air. Yeah, definitely. I mean, dash attack and back air are really good with challenging every option that Ness throws your way. I mean, Jen doing such a good job of keeping PK Chris on the back foot. As we're already seeing, he's struggling to get off this ledge right now, finally getting that back throw until back in this game. Huge down smash. That down smash is going to be so good against Altana. But even Jen going straight through that. Back in the center stage, PK fire dragged him. Oh my gosh. PK Chris is looking crispy right now. He's got to do something to be able to compensate for this damage deficit. Because Jen is going to be able to shark away back here the whole way through, but blows up there. It doesn't take Jen too long to try to cut uh, the stock count. Oh, nice absorbing. I suppose the flame, but still the four air is going to come out. That is the double sword, the double ended sword. You can absorb that explosive flame, but still you're going to hit with that Palutena aerial. This character, you'll never be able to have the. Oh, I have the answer to this. No, you don't. This is Jen you're talking about. He has the answer to your answer. He has the answer sheet. He has the Scantron. You can't get away from this. For real, man. A character that, again, dominates the aerial space against a character who loves to thrive in the air. Like, Chris is playing such an unorthodox, aggressive way just to stay on even footing to fight against Jen. Meanwhile, Jen, he just needs to keep his head on straight, stay confident, and execute a typical Palutena game plan of denying landing space, juggling for big damage, set up the edge guards, and just smother your opponent. Oh yeah, easily. I mean, Jen is putting all this pressure on PK Chris off stage. He's still finally finding his footing. No huge PK fire, but not even getting much off of it. Catching Jen running in there, going for the grab. Jen getting a little too overzealous with that counter. Two for Flitzen. Side point blank. Reacts with the back air. Doesn't take the stop, but excellent awareness on Chris to know that he can exist in that close range space. If he's not going to get grabbed, plenty of room to swing. And talking Ooh. about grabs from center stage, back throw manages to put Jen on last stop. He is swinging all right. I mean, PK Chris is looking amazing right now. Coming off his seventh APG, he's realizing that like he needs to relax in his defensive play. He's getting his combos. He needs to get more off his single hit. A 63% is absolutely nothing to scoff at right now. Jen has a battle to play right now. Oh my gosh, nice air dodge down from Jen though. Down throw into up air, not going to take it. One little up air could do it. Oh, huge air dodge catching it with the explosive flame. Now we've got even stocks. He's still, PK Chris still has to work to close out this game against Jen. Sheesh. Get the easy 40 out of this one. Jen sets up for an excellent jungle situation, but an errant dash attack manages to give the landing for free to Chris. This is honestly anyone's game because it doesn't take that much of a combo to put either of these characters into the danger zone. And stage positioning wise, things can go haywire very quickly when you see how aggressive Chris has been under these platforms. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, Chris has been using his the spacing from the, the nest aerials to kind of keep Jen out, sitting under his little house under the platform. But that you go for that grab a little too overzealous, and PK Chris finds game one with a back here. Very amazing stuff to him. He's looking like an amazing player right now. He truly is an amazing player, and it's against a matchup at a skill level that he's very comfortable with. This is not his first time fighting against Jen. Most definitely not his first rodeo. He's not looking like it that at all, but I mean, PK Chris, the way that he uses Ness's aerials, like you, like watching it on a surface level is like, yo, this guy's mashing, right? You look a little deeper, you're like, you're using, he's playing Ness like he's a sortie. He's using these aerials to kind of keep Jen away and say like, hey, I, I know you want to come in here and play Halloween and get all your nares off on me, but you got to get through this wall first. This is still Ness you got to deal with, man. Chris makes use of his high action rate by trying to minimize the punish window of mm -hmm. it. When you consider the spacing that he's putting out the moves and then also the height that he's at before he drops, he's trying his damnedest to make sure that he can auto-cancel anything and everything to minimize the window that Jen can find that punish. When he thinks the buttons are stopping or when Ness is going to be sitting still, all of a sudden, another button comes out. 
All of a sudden, Ness dashes out. All of a sudden, a Chris takes throw. the lead. Sheesh. Grabs and he throws you. Very good stuff from PK Chris. I mean, Jen, we were talking about this matchup, but then we, we failed to realize that, like, Jen's getting a little too crazy right now. He's feeling that, like, yeah, you have that idea of the matchup in your head, and then you fail to realize that PK Chris is fully aware of this, too. He's playing exactly how he needs to. He's staying away from Palatina, refusing to interact when he needs to, but then when he goes in, when he finds that hit, he finds so much damage. This is a touch of death character, and we don't even realize it. I mean, Dash Attack is going to come out from Jen. He's looking to close the stock here, just barely missing that down air. Oh, huge use the PK Magnet. Chris is resetting the neutral here, and Jen just trying literally anything close to the stock. 166. Okay, that that <laughs> might do it. Wait a minute. That might how not much do that it. Heals. No, you got to be careful with auto reticle. Okay, this there kind we of a go. Matchup. Jen, of course, finding his opportunity off of Chris going just a little bit too high. And earlier on, at the beginning of game one, is where we saw Jen able to find a lot of damage and a lot of stage control off the juggling. It really is the prime opportunity for Palutena to affirm her dominance in this matchup. The safety of Nair and up air to shark away from Ness's moves and rack up comfortable damage is so important to Jen. Yeah, exactly. I think Jen needs to take a step back and realize that, like, hey, you think he's letting P.A. Garcia get away with a little bit too much right now. He's set on the back foot right now. He's still playing Palatina. He still has all these options. The aerials are doing such a good job of keeping Chris, Chris away, especially on this ledge right now. They're sitting here, too. But that, that doesn't even matter when you have down here in the back air. Pete Ness back here coming through for P.K. Chris. A nice rebuttal there with the forward air from Jen. He's looking to close the soccer with an up air. Both these players just, like, looking, literally trying to find the close the soccer here. The jab coming out from Jen. Going over through that explosive flame. Okay, Jen looking for an option here. Knight getting nope, whiff punished for that back, back throw up again. For his efforts. Good night, sweet Prince. Good stuff for PK Chris. Chris is just doing such a great job of recognizing his situations to be able to swing, or in that case, grab. Just finding his opportunity to play the game. Even though Jen is doing his damnedest to try to occupy space, you can't occupy everywhere at once. And Chris has been really on the ball when it comes to whiff punishing. Against a character like Palutena, that needs to be at the forefront of your game plan. But for a character like Ness, you get so much after playing on second beat and your opponent Ooh. exposing themselves. And that's something I've been waiting for us to see. I was waiting to see when Jen would take out the counter or the reflector to try to mess up how Chris can recover. Because Ness is one of those characters who unfortunately oh has to deal with that. Oh my gosh, Jen pushing so much pressure on the off stage right now. Jen finally waking up right now saying, hey, wait a minute, this is losers. I, 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 gotta, I gotta get my head back in the game. He, he's realizing that you, this is still a Palutena Ness. You should use your disjoints to keep Ness on this back foot. 94%, PA Chris getting back in effortlessly, but still, oh my gosh, using that narrative. Like, yo, Jen, stay away. Go away. Let me get back on the stage. Let me breathe. So he's many buttons just to find himself some space to move about in. And boxing out from center stage, Pretty good look for Chris, all things considered. Oh yeah, definitely. He's finding that PK fire there. Nice rebuttal there with the forward tilt from Jen. Nice getting a little bit of that damage back from the uh, the, uh, the side view. Oh, nice with that PK fire there. Oh, Ren Spot looking for a grab. Jen is looking for an option here, but PK Chris is not giving it to him. He's not giving you that time to, to find that, an opening at 190%. He's looking like he, he can run away from this game. Oh, PK Fire coming out. Absolutely amazing stuff to get Jen off the ledge from you there. 97%. A back throw might take it here. Jen's got to be careful as I say that too. Ooh. Oh, that was. Sour hit of the down air. I like the mix what up. What a stinking from Chris. angle. That yeah, was it's weird. not setting up for anything, but it ends up threatening really poor stage positioning. Putting Jen at the angle at this percentage, all of a sudden things can go haywire very quickly. Oh, oh, oh my the, gosh. Stinky. Go, that, 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 Ugh, that wasn't even, yeah, that was, that was, no. That was, <laughs> I don't even have a joke for that. Nah, that man. was weird. No, nah, that was just, that was a bad look. <laughs> but honestly, good on Jen for forcing a situation that poor. When you consider, like, the dash attack isn't really a burst option, but it's kind of Volt Palutena has at close range. Her jab is frame nine. Literally one of the slowest in the game. And it's not that big. So, like, she doesn't have much mm -hmm. to really call a burst option, but dash attack is a close range option, as good as it's going to get. And it secures a 1 1 count so far as we return to Pokemon Stadium 2. Very good stuff for Jen. Jen finally getting his head back in the game, realizing that he needs to find his opening. He's finding his openings more consistently against PK Chris. Like, PK Chris is being way too comfortable, getting so much damage on Jen, and Jen realizing, like, hey, I can do this too. I just need to get these big punishes off stage. He goes with that down air, and that Aaron down air might be the end of him. Down, getting him with that down slash. Nice use of the auto reticle there. Oh, nice. Coming back with the PK man. Oh my gosh, PK Chris is coming something, coming something fierce there. He's looking for some big damage. 
Uh -oh. He's trying to get the silliness out, but Jen has been adjusting his recoveries fantastically to a lot more breathing room at the ledge. Very important to take that away from Chris. Specifically Chris, not just Ness in general, who's already a demon at the ledge, but the way that Chris always mixes up his options with how he's covering the ledge from below, laterally, above. You need to make him guess so that you've oh. got some breathing room, but there ain't no guessing involved when Chris has the opportunity to just run up and grab. Absolutely no breathing room out here. Jen trying to find that back air off stage. PK Chris is delaying under there once again. Absolutely, there's almost like no one like punishing him for being down there. And that's the thing with Ness, he's so scary because you make one mistake and your stock is gone down there. You have to give either respect Ness or you have to have that the perfect punish option. Jen found it in the last game with the counter, but he's struggling to find it here again. In oh. this matchup, it's oh that oh my gosh, Chris, what's going on? Are you trolling us? The, the DI is looking a little messy, and honestly, it could be the nerves getting to it at this point. So the, the errant buttons, the mispositioning, the poor DI. There's a lot of pressure right here. You're fighting mm -hmm. up against one of New York's best as one of New York's best with a lot to prove in the loser's bracket. Oh, yeah, it's definitely all. The, the, the weight of the world is on his shoulders. PK Chris is still definitely making an appearance, though. He's still in the lead against Jen, finding, putting him up to 65%, finding that Nair out of shield. He's just trying to catch Jen on the back foot here. Oh, nice grab from Jen, though. Catching the tech there with the up air. Another up air equals the stock here. PK Chris isn't careful. Oh, there you go. Nice catching landing with the Nair once again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, PK Chris is getting caught out with defensive options again and again here. And Jen is looking to bring this back just simply by catching PK Chris and, and, and taking advantage of that nervous and saying, like, hey, your defensive options aren't completely there right now. And I'm here to take advantage, man. Oh. I think what's really happening here is the fact that Jen is just locked on to the fact that Chris is trying to land with buttons, stay aggressive, and up the tempo. Mm. But Jen is playing in a very well measured beat right now. And has a very strong idea of how you can just continue to limit Chris's options and play the matchup in a lot more of a typical manner. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, already finding a double triple out this there. This is true to form Palutena pressure here. This and is Jen. This is crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Finds the down throw to get. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Jen, relax, relax. No, I like that. I like that a lot. You're putting the kid on the ropes. But this is, make this kid relax a little bit. He went on a little bit of a tear. And now you're still in loot. Jen is looking to make this back. Not able to find that down throw, though. 85% on PK Chris right now. He has to get off this ledge against Jen. Jen is not giving him the time of day. He's done dealing with this PK boy. He's, get him out of here. He don't want back no here. more of it. Get him off the screen. Oh, wait. Okay, finally, the DI is coming out again for Chris. Nice. Air dodge back to the ledge there. 113% on both of these players. PK Chris down a whole stock. If you can find a back air, something to take a stock out on Jen. Oh, there we go. The other side is going to do it. And now, PK Chris, Jen's not out of the woods yet. He still has to close the stock. And PK Chris has been making some moves on these last stocks in these last couple sets. Honestly, Momo, this is a second lease on life that Chris should not have gotten. Exactly. But Jen gifted this opportunity to Chris, letting it go of such good ledge pressure. But Chris saw his opportunity, and he's looking to take an inch, take a mile out of it, take the whole set from it, potentially. Oh, this is... The end Ooh. of this game three could be absolutely pivotal. Finding double oh, forehead, triple forehead. On. Wait a minute! Five Wait a minute! Five. He finds it! He's insane! PK Chris takes game three by the skin of his teeth. <sighs> oh my! Honestly, I'd have the same reaction. I don't. I think he still needs to catch up with us to see what just happened at the end of that game. Oh my God! The what rising a dare catching out. right at the very end. Oh. You gotta hold that. My honest reaction. <laughs> Live PK Chris reaction. That now let's see the kid do it again. Oh my god. Gifted gosh. the opportunity to go up. He the wants score. even more. He wants even more. PK Chris, he's not oh my, he's, he's not course. full. He's not full. He's of going course. more damage. More combos! Oh my gosh, PK Chris, you're, you're insane. This, this is absolutely incredible. Jen already down 90%. He's got to he's got to snap out of it, man. This is this is his final. This could be his final game of the tournament. And PK Chris is looking like he's looking better than ever. We were talking smack about him, but he's he's back. He's awake. This he's is like, how the kid plays when he wants it. You win one neutral interaction, you take the stock. You mm -hmm. take the stock, take the game. You take the game, you take a set. Uh-huh. What's stopping you from taking enough sets to win the whole damn tournament? Absolutely nothing. The only thing stopping you right now is Jen. And Jen is looking to already clean, getting that 70% on the ledge. Both these players are excelling. PK Chris excelling in the neutral state, and Jen excelling at the ledge. PK just has to call the soccer, and that up slash is going to do that. An errant counter, once again, getting called out from Jen. Jen's got to get out of this rut, man, or else he's already stocked out against 
PK Christian, this could be the end of this run. Oh, it goes a little crazy Ooh. with that up smash there. He's trying to close it out here with the Nair. Okay, there we go. The pressure on this ledge is looking pretty good for PK Christian right now. 50% and rising. Okay, there we go. Never mind. We're, we're back in the neutral right here. We're, we're looking clean. We're looking good. He's just trying to stay very active. Keep a lot of buttons. Keep a lot of options open. We're starting to see a, a lot of ledge options from Jen that we haven't yet. But down to the ledge against Ness is such a tried and true method of getting this character further into worse and worse situations. If it doesn't pop up into a kill outright, it does end up resetting a situation when he's just got to eat damage and try again. But Chris, so well aware of this, has been constantly adjusting the timings for how PK Thunder hits. Oh. Unfortunately, that time, too far out to try something funky to return to the ledge. It's going to be off the Angel Plat that gets him back to center stage. Here we go. We're back in center stage. Now, Jen's definitely got to be careful here. He's looking for that opening. That dash attack is not going to be able to find it. Jen's really been just struggling here to find his openings in the setup. I mean, PK Chris using those uh, aerials on Ness to kind of play his own game. Jen finally getting back into the groove, finding a good combo there. 59%. Oh, no. The worst time for this to happen. Now Jen goes up. He stocks to one in this game four. This is Jen's game to win right now. And we were, we're looking at a game five. Unless Pika Chris makes another insane comeback. I mean, it's entirely possible, but Jen is the type of player who sees an opportunity like that and does his best to not let that mm -hmm. slip away. No matter how good the player is, no matter how tenacious they're playing, like, that's a fairly comfortable lead for a power team to be sitting in, especially with how proactive Jen has been playing. But Chris, once again, sees Death's Doors, turns up the ante. He sees Death's Doors, and he, he bars right in. He, he's not worried about any of this right now. He wants to put this pressure on Jen. 120% and a back throw could take it right now. But Jen, looking to close the stock now. He does not want to be in the same situation as last time. Look, oh, he goes a little too crazy with that down air. The nair, I mean, oh! Called out with the uh, PK Magnet. PK Chris looking to close the stock with anything right now. He wants to bring his act to even stock percentages right now. Oh, this is so close. Looking for a back air or something to close this out. There's a whole lot of buttons, my friend. But one thing that you have to be sure of is the spacing of those buttons when you consider how well both of these players have been quickly developing oh, game plans. Oh, my gosh. That was... Oh. Okay, that time I understand the DI because we tried to land and that was just a random back air from Jen. Not It was a good back air, but you know, it was random in the DI-wise. But just consistently occupying space. It was only a matter of time before Jen made the right call and Chris made the worst call of it. Yeah, he was trying to drift back with the DI. Obviously, got caught DIing out and you were gone to that back air. Yeah, no, that DI arrow be snitching sometimes. That's... Yo, help me is right! Help me! God damn! That's ridiculous. Now we have... Game five, our first game five on top. This is, let's get it. This, is Yo, this has been a treat. Give us our first three side. Give us our first game five. I love game fives. Uh, I'm off the same, bro. This, this, I'm absolutely a fan. If you've, been, if you've been listening to me for a while, you know game five. Last stock, last hit. We in grand, reset that thing. Give me the game ten. Yeah, we want Give more me the content. best smash you can offer. I want to sit here as long as possible. I'm not going anywhere. I'm comfortable in this chair. We're plugged in, but one of these players has got to go after this one. Oh, somebody's got to make a statement right now. Jen already at 82%. PK Chris trying to look for an opening. Amazing parry off that back air. Oh, okay. PK Chris is cooking something fierce. He, he's up in the kitchen, and Jen is trying to stay in there, trying to handle this heat, but he can't handle it right now as the first stock goes down to PK Chris. This is amazing. Jen trying to find this punish here at the ledge. Ooh. PK Chris is absolutely moving out here with the PK Thunder. He punches up the down throw to the back air. Oh, no, we're seeing a four air, actually. Okay. We're going to get to the point where this down throw at ledge is going to start conditioning Chris to start to choose more and more options, bleed out the responses when you expect back air. All mm -hmm. of a sudden, that's going to put Jen in a fantastic position to open up with something more on uh, uh -oh. Wait a minute. 58% right there. PK Chris is still moving. Big damage right there. Trying to find an opening against Jen. Jen is trying to find the backer. He needs to close out the stock now because you cannot be too stocked down against PK Chris. He needs to be back in this game now. He's getting nice using that uh, uh, teleport to get out of there. Nice use of the jab. And I got PK Chris off stage once again. He goes deep for that back here. Now he puts something disadvantage against Ness. Jen is getting a little too overzealous and he's giving up that neutral state. He can't be doing this right now. Nice air dodge back to the ledger from PK Chris. Looking for an opening. Jen holding down super well. Oh, misses that backer. At extreme close ranges, you can't be threatening back air like that because it's too ample of a space for Chris to try to do something. The drift away back airs are what are garnering so much respect from this Palutena and stocks too. 
Oh, yeah, easily. I mean, now we have PK Chris up a decent amount, but we've seen Jen make comebacks like, like no other, right? This is definitely not a clear-cut game. Nice to double up air. I see a triple up air. Oh, and now we'll catch the air dodge. Still definitely catching with that back throw. Now he'll find that explosive flame. PK Chris looking for an opening right now with the PK fire. Oh, catching the back throw with the back air. Back throw. Oh, no, nice matchup from Jen. We are not giving any freebies anymore. Nope. Missed your opportunity throw. for that. Not coming out there. PK Chris missing his opportunity. Trying to find the back throw again. He needs that grab again. Jen absolutely getting his second lease on life there. He could absolutely running away with this there too. Nice back air. Looking for an opening for PK Chris. 127%. Oh. Nice air dodge there. Amazing yep. stuff. He's looking for an opening, trying to find both these pressures are going back and forth. But your back air beats out first. Whoever goes on this last stock first is going to be absolutely. Oh no, not again! It's Chris. Too much drift. Very unfortunate. It's I can't handle Chris. this. I can't handle it right now, Chris. Come on. Jen running away with this lead, trying to find an opening on PK Chris right now. And now Here's he's me. trying to dial the momentum down. Notice how much more space Jen is trying to put between himself and Chris, because he knows that Chris is going to try something reckless. He's going to try something that you can't just react to. But if he tries that and you're far enough away, Whip Punish City is waiting for you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Whip Punish City absolutely is kind to no one. Nice dash back there. Whip Punish again. There we go. The back coming out for Pika. We are on last stock situation of game five of losers top six. Oh, my gosh. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Pika Chris starting out with the up till. Jen finding the bat dash attack, looking for a punish there on the ledge. Huge back air. This could be it. Pika Chris is going to be so careful here. He goes the down tilt. Oh, no back air, though. Oh, my gosh. He gets up. He gets called out with the nair. Nice call from Jen. Oh, my gosh. The PK magnet. He's alive. This is for a so moment close. longer. Just got to find his answer to get off the ledge. Once he's past the platform, he's home free. But he's got to get there first. Oh, he's, he's out of there. Nice calling the jump out there with the nair. Jen has you on the ledge once again. The PK magnet. This could be huge. Wait a minute. 40% combo. Go for the PK. Well, he was close to something fierce. Here we go. The down there. Wait a minute. The yet. nair. Wait a minute. Oh, amazing air dodge uh, the teleport there from Jen. He's still in this game by jumping back out the forward air. The PK fire's coming out. PK Chris wants this game so badly. Both these players so close, almost at 100%. The back air is it's going to do it. it. Do it. My word, the farthest reaching. And all the tension just leaves their face. Oh. A breath of relief as Chris manages to defeat Jen, putting him down at fifth for tonight. I'm moving on to the first half of loser semifinals. The irony of the Palatina Trophy sitting there as the final Palatina player is eliminated from the bracket. Ooh. Jen put up one heck of a fight, but PK Chris just had the tenacity, had that awareness. His absolutely domination of the neutral state at the end. He knew exactly what Jen was looking for, that back air to close the game first. He's like, nope, you want to go in and you want your option? He waited for it. He waited so long. And PK Chris was like, nah, bro. This is my game. This is my tournament. But up boom, nope. Yep. That's threatening with forward air, and that was it. Curtains Amazing bolt. stuff. What a what a celebration, PK Chris. Absolutely. Now, PK He's Chris moving on the top four. Not out of it just yet, though. He's still definitely deep in the woods right now. Amazing stuff. Amazing showing against Jen. Jen out at fifth. He was looking like really great, but just he got a little too caught up in his in the moment there. That last hit, he got a little too comfortable. Like, okay, I'm just gonna back air. I'm just gonna forward air, and that's not gonna work. It, it, in stakes like this, you can't get that comfortable.